Now, the beauty about being an African woman is that we walk with shoulders high. They call her the queen of head wraps. This week on Side Hustle, we speak to Marin Keseri, who is a student at the Multimedia University studying a course in journalism. But she tells us how she started her journey into making head wraps. Marin Kesseri is a journalism student at the Multimedia University. She is a jack of all trades, but a master of one, which is a fashion designer and a head wrap stylist. I'd say I'm a fashion preneur because I design both ladies' clothes and men's clothes, and um, I sell quite a number of things. I sell ladies' handbags, I design African uh, ladies' handbags, I also um, sell fabrics, African fabrics, kitanges I mean, I sell head wraps too, I also sell mabuyu, yeah I do quite a lot. She does both male and female designs as well as African bags. I began being very serious uh, with fashion uh, like three years ago but with head wraps I, it, 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 I could actually Take it from so back, back in 2009, when I was just had finished my primary school. Um, after my cases, I don't know what came into me. I until today, Sidri. So I just began covering my hair out of nowhere. Then um, when it got, you know, those times you used to join the high school. When time uh, came for me to join, my mom told me, "So you never like tambash, really?" I told her, "Yes." An option because it got to a time I could not leave the house without a head wrap. So and even playing with the kids, with other kids, I just had to be in a head wrap. So my journey with head wraps actually began years ago. It's almost nine years now. Yes, I think Kintafanya anniversary. Yeah, ten years of head wrap. <laughs> Marin tells us she fell in love with head wraps from way back in primary school. When I joined Multimedia University, I actually noticed people actually loved head wraps, but most of them did not know how to do it. So this is what I did. I used to carry two head wraps, rather one head wrap. So in any meva, just another one, bag. Because now people, hey, I love how you've done your head wrap. Where can I get it? You mind me selling this to you? Namambia ni miatano. Natoa, nampatia. We get to somewhere private, natoa, nampatia. Nachukua ingine nye kukobag, mi nafunga. And that is how I began selling hair wraps, actually. Uh, when it comes to... Most people know me for deras. I used to love deras so much. And so most people confuse me for a costarian. So... One time, I noticed people really wanted or rather people really loved deras but they could not know where to buy them so that is how I, I spotted the market niche and I decided to go to all the way to Mombasa She decided to make head wraps her business the moment she realized that people loved head wraps and deras uh, By the grace of God I actually managed, I went got a good Samaritan and I said I would like to then came back the following day like nilienda usiku nili travel say on a monday night and on a tuesday night i was coming back to nairobi and luckily by the time i was getting back so many pieces loser, so many pieces kwa gate because of course i came with something new stylish and um one person like I'm, i have a very outstanding personality i'm one very bubbly very not really goofy in a bad way but i am very bubbly i talk to everyone you see i have a really i am super extrovert i'll use that so i was able to sell like 20 pieces i came with 25 pieces from mombasa but again i just began my business with like 5,000 shillings yeah because i bought the data at 250 and then came and sold them at 500 but now i'm selling my data at 1200 yes so from then it's been a journey and all that um not to forget i've won actually several awards i've won two awards in 2016 and 2017 
She tells us about the awards that she was able to win in 2016 and 2017. Some guy by name Charlie. Okay, we call him Charlie, but his name is Frederick Kule. He's from Machakos. Any anyway, all the way from Machakos. Came to my Instagram, "Hi. You sell dress. Are you a designer?" Imagine he just told me, "Are you a designer, Miniko?" Am I a designer? Yes, I'm a designer. But I could tell I'm a designer because most of my clothes I came up with the idea and then just gave to Atil. I'm not so handy even some handbags I sell. And again, I always feel if I start doing it, it is going to consume most of my time because it needs a lot of work and a lot of um, you know, pushing the cobag mode. No, I cannot do that. I have too much I'm doing around. Yeah, that's why I also I cannot sew. So I have a tailor, I have a specific tailor who does clothes for myself and for my clients. So the guy came to my inbox, we talked and he was like, oh, I can I have models, you'd love to dress them. And that is how I started working with his agency. It's called House of Legacy. And um, after like two years, um, they had a nomination and I was nominated among uh, the category of female designer of the year and I won. Then uh, there was a second nomination the following year in 2017, of which I won again. Um, yes, and I'm hoping now I will, I'd really want to move into something bigger, like a bigger fashion house, um, like Kenya Fashion Awards, or rather a bigger agency, Kenya Fashion Awards, Swahili Fashion. You see, everything in life is about growing and a step at a time. So I began Hapachini and in the next, I'm still very young, you know. So I'm hoping maybe in the next few years, actually not years, yeah. In the next few years, I need to be competing with African designers and um, uh, designers from uh, the US, designers from Europe, you know what I mean, yes. She believes head wraps should not just be worn on bad hair days because it is stylish and makes you stand out. Everyone thinks head wraps is for bad hair day and everyone thinks head wraps is our show show because even most women right now um, have moved into, I'm not against it, they moved, they've moved into weaves and wigs and yeah, braids, you know, and um, somehow and I've been a bad hair day. I must recommend willing Ali Shukwa and we buy or something. I don't understand. But there's actually just doing hair drops, it has its own the advantages. Because number one, if you cover your hair, you're covering it from dust and you'll find you have very strong hair, uh, very soft hair. Um, your scalp is clean, hauna those mashilingis and all that. So even doing hair drops comes with its own advantages, you see. So most people think but it's a bad mentality because at times you just want to look stylish you want to stand out of the crowd and you know I, I actually I can walk from here to town or rather from here to Galeria just go for a meeting and I'll find myself apart from the Muslims and the some Indians or some Mokorino like the normal people don't do head wraps yeah and Head wraps are actually very stylish, very simple and very stylish. You don't have to like do something very big like a gele to, you know, like look good. Very simple stuff, forehead band, back band, side band, you know, and you just look very well. And again, uh, people think dressing African is very expensive. Um, but you see, we all Africans, you know, and we forget that uh, we forget um, the fact that we're Africans and we're all moving into Mitumba clothes and um westernized i'll call them westernized West, westernized clothes is you know but we think or rather we have a mentality that africans christmas but it's sad because some people don't even have anything that is african in their closet and you see good thing with african clothes ama vitenges it's it, it's something in here Ukiva, you can out, out, you can be outstanding from the whole crowd, you see, and you're just beautiful. I, I always repeat this every other time that when you see, when you watch fashion programs or fashion events on TV and something African, you see, even the whites now, they, they, are, they are coming to, they are starting to embrace or rather they are coming to open their African clothes, you're getting, and you find that when uh, an African um, when a model comes to the runway with something Kitenge-ish, uh, Ankara-ish, you know, African-ish EV fabric, you know, the, the crowd is wowed. Yeah, so even those guys, are, they, they feel the, 
the beauty of uh, the African fabric. So why don't we just embrace it? When it comes to balancing her schoolwork and her business, she tells us it is hectic, yes, but she ensures that there is customer satisfaction as well as her giving her best in her schoolwork. Me balancing between class and my business is quite, it, it's quite too hard for me because number one, I get to, at times I get clients who are, I'd say, super demanding. Because you see, I have come take your measurements, come talk to you, come see your closet, change you, uh, see what you love. It's a lot of things put together before I decide on what I'm going to, to give you to wear or what I'm going to design for you. So you find that, um, for example, I have classes and it's my third year. So there's a lot of practical units. Uh, okay, I wouldn't mention them, there, but there are so many you find i'm doing eight units and five all of them are practicals you know i have to be i have to do news i have to do news for we have a radio station i have to do news i have to do reports i have to do classwork you know and um, it, it gets too much and i find that I, at times i lose clients because i can't deliver so it's actually a big problem because i have very late nights very early mornings because if i get a client all the way from malindi I have to go there. I have to go if I have a hair drop shoot. I have to go to my Lindy, especially if it's um, it's um, like an event or someone needs a photo shoot. As long as the money is good, I just go. So you see, I have to forego school. Like hey, school, you have to wait. So I have to go start talking to lecturers. Really, and it's a lot of work. Yes. So you find even when it gets to weekend, I don't have time for for myself because now it's time to now take care of clients and at times you find you know news has to run news ha no shows has to uh, shows have to run so like i'm in school from monday to monday and it's quite hectic so it's either i work on my i i meet my clients usiku or i don't meet them so that is the main challenge i'm getting right now but i'm figuring out something i want to so far i have some employees and i want i need someone to like um like a personal assistant because I need to finish school. She tells us her clients range from students, children, all the way to working class. Generally, I have um, quite a large audience because from students to working class to families to... Because a woman might want a bump shoot and they're with a husband. Um, a lady, she's a model or she's a, she's, a, she's a model, she'd want me to. Um, like yesterday I had a shoot with some lady you see so there was a makeup artist there was a photographer so I get to work with so many people a photographer might have a client who wants a hair drops they'll call me a, f a makeup artist might have a client who wants hair drops they'll call me you see so from students I have like to students to working class to just everyone yeah I want to move into doing like men's hair drops because especially those Rastafarian I am not so good at it I think I haven't found the right size because I also think w w when you're doing the dreadlocks head wrap, I think there's a way, the, 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 the quantity of the, or rather the heaviness or the thickness of the locks matters. So it's giving me a problem to like get a perfect um, look. So though I'm still trying, you know, everything a practice makes perfect. She tells us of some of the celebrities she has been able to design and make head wraps for. Two weeks ago, I had a shoot with Mary Mukali. She works with KTN, um, uh, Life and Style, yeah, in the morning. So I was able to do a shoot with her. I'm planning a shoot with Shaniko's wife uh, very soon. Um, it's a pump shoot, but also a head wrap shoot. I've worked with quite a number of people. I'm also supposed to do something with. Ruth Wamoyo. I've actually worked with Kochua magazine. The issue for this month, October issue, some of my work is on it actually. Yes, so I can't really, I'm, I'm, the steps I'm taking are so positive and I'm so proud of myself. Kochua magazine Africa is a big magazine and just doing something with them is actually a great opportunity. So something else is coming up, Fashion in the Wild, and I'm one of the designers. Um, I haven't, I have, I have a clue and an idea of exactly what I want, 
I just need to put it into action. But I can't complain. So far, so good. And uh, yes, I'm looking forward to dress more celebrities, more people. And I've also dressed Aisha, Aisha Wanjiku. I've had like three clients who've come from, one was from Belgium, the other one was from Brazil, the other one was from Be Beverly Hills. Yes. So they just saw my work on Instagram and um, they like my work and that's how I got to do a shoot with them. So that's why I'm telling you, I'm really hoping in the next few years, I have something in Tanzania coming up the first week of December. So it's a, it's a fashion event and I'm showcasing. So, so far so good, I can't really complain because I'm seeing positive results despite the hitches, a few hitches here and there, but see, in my shan kukazana. Marine says she is a walking brand because she is always wearing her designs. Apart from me uh, being a walking brand, because me wear my brand. As I mean, Kenya Mombasa, me just do African, like as I mean, beach never do some African dress, you know. Like I carry my brand all over. But social media has been of great importance because I wear something and post it there, and I just get my clients from there. My head wrap clients, my shoot clients, my clients for clothes actually I all, all of them most of them like 80% I get them from uh, Instagram and Facebook yes and it, um, for the past three years that's what I've been using but I want to do a location in Eldoret I every uh, process is underway I think I need just to open the shop to God willing towards the end of this month I'm going to open the shop so it's going to be a, a boutique uh, Baba, okay, but I said I do a lot of things, so it's going to be a lot of things just together. I think I have a thing for Costadian, but again, the, another reason that I began selling Mabuyu is I needed, when I moved out of school, I needed fare and I needed some little coins to, you know, like buy lunch in school, uh, transport to school, buy Skuma Wiki for evening, you know. So um, before before someone buys before i get a client to buy to to do a suit for or before i sell a pair of shoes or before i sell you a head wrap before I'm, i come for a shoot you see and then be a shadow you never know so but I, you see mabuyu and then i had a trick mabuyu kukula. so if you see me eating mabuyu you'll want na mi sta kugawia yangu na kama ni nauza ndo hizi hapa so you buy and so me, I, got, I used to buy like 15 bob or 20 bob, depending on the supplier. And then me na was a 40 bob, 50 bob. Zingine na 60, me na was a 200, you know. Um, and people love Mabuyu. University students love Mabuyu. Even Makanga, me, me customers wangu ni Makanga tu. Nikifika stage ya indu au. Kesere tu uze Mabuyu, Mabuyu ziku api. So that is how I used to get money for vitu peti peti transport then the money i used to get now for from the um, i'll call it the bigger part the bags the clothes the shoots the deras now is what i used to pay my rent sort my school fees nini, nini. yeah someone might think it's actually something you cannot pay school fees and sort you out sort out your bills through what i'm doing but trust me it actually does She definitely had some advice for her young fellow youths. It's good to follow your passion because um, at times you find that your parents want you to be a doctor, your parents want you to do what, but you see, again, it's all about, it's all about your life here. Most of the people around are making it because they are following their passion, they, they are doing their hobbies. Because you see, a hobby is something you love doing. And, Atakama, you're not so perfect at it, but the more you perfect it and look for advice from people, um, try and um, talk to people who have made it or who are in the same industry or the same, or rather the same line with what you love, and you get guidance. Because now, like for me, okay, I didn't, I wasn't very sure. Imagine I wasn't, I think God just helped, helped me. I wasn't very sure I wanted to do fashion. But how did I even find myself in fashion? And fashion is thriving very well for me, except for a few hitches, but it's really doing so good for me. And I, I tell them, just take a risk. If you have some cash, just invest in it. If you have uh, your time, invest in it. Because all this, it wants effort, it wants time, it wants money. It needs money. I don't know you want to buy guitar, it's your, it's your hobby. You need to buy the guitar. See, you need to you need to get some people to help you perfect. 
everything you do needs money but it depends with what amount of money and how do you want to start it so don't fear don't fear to take a risk because it's a risk that actually it takes a risk to you know like no this is my this is this is what i can do this is what i cannot do when you start a business be patient it's been my head wraps has taken me like nine years before i got um say it took me like six years before it got breakthrough but when it got breakthrough it just boom you know like boom and you see that is patience and hard work and don't be discouraged with what people say you see and me me most no me have friends who've never tried out my head wraps who have never tried out African stuff? Who have never bought anything from me? But did I? Did that make me stop? No, it did not make me stop. I don't fear giving out my number, by the way, because um, when I give out my phone number, I find that I, I get people get to talk to me personally, like directly, and we get to who had to kosani. They actually tell me, oh, you really helped me, and who doesn't want to help another person? So my number is zero seven ten three eight two nine two four. And uh, you can get me on my social media platforms. Uh, I have two, two for my. I actually have three, but two are my business accounts on Instagram: Kesari Headwraps Kenya and Afrikesari Collections. Collections with a K, so Afrikesari underscore Collections, Kesari underscore Headwraps underscore Kenya. On Facebook, you can get me on Mirin Kesari and Afrikesari Collections two five four. That is my Facebook page.